Hey everyone, it's Brian, your honest mechanic, and today we're tackling a topic that might have some of you a bit concerned. What to do when your check engine light comes on, but your car seems to be running just fine. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're all about providing straightforward, no-nonsense advice to help you keep your car in top shape. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. Now back to that steady check engine light. Unlike a flashing check engine light, which usually indicates a more severe problem, a check engine light can be triggered by a variety of issues, some more serious than others. First things first, don't panic. I know it's easier said than done, but a steady check engine light doesn't necessarily mean your car is about to break down on the spot. However, it's not something you want to ignore either. So, what could be causing that check light? Let's dive in. One of the most common reasons for a check engine light is a faulty oxygen sensor. As I mentioned in my video about flashing check engine lights, oxygen sensors monitor the amount of unburned oxygen in your exhaust system. If they start to fail, they can cause your car to run less efficiently, leading to reduced fuel economy and potentially even damage to other components like your catalytic converter. Another potential culprit is a loose or faulty gas cap. I know it seems too simple to be true, but a gas cap that's not properly tightened or sealing can trigger that check engine light. If you've recently filled up your tank, try tightening or replacing your gas cap and see if the light goes off after a few drive cycles. Mass airflow sensor issues can also cause a steady check engine light. This sensor measures the amount of air entering your engine, helping your car's computer determine how much fuel to inject. If it gets dirty or starts to fail, it can cause your car to run rough, trigger the check engine light. Spark plug and ignition coil problems are another common reason for a check engine light. Over time, spark plugs can wear out, and ignition coils can fail, causing misfires and other issues. While these problems might not be as severe as some of the ones that cause a flashing light, they can still lead to reduced performance if not addressed. Now let's talk about your car's catalytic converter. This is the part of your exhaust system that helps reduce harmful emissions. If it gets clogged or fails, it can trigger a check engine light. While a faulty catalytic converter might not cause noticeable performance issues right away, it can lead to more serious problems down the line if not fixed. Evaporative Emission Control System EVAP, issues can also cause a check engine light to come on while your car drives just as well. The EVAP system is designed to capture fuel vapors from your gas tank and prevent them from escaping into the atmosphere. If there's a leak in this system or if one of its components fails, it can trigger the check engine light. Finally, Let's talk about your car's throttle position sensor. This sensor monitors the position of your throttle and helps your car's computer determine how much fuel to inject. If it starts to fail, it can cause a check engine light. So, what should you do if you're faced with a steady check engine light? First, if you feel comfortable doing so, check your gas cap to make sure it's tight and sealing properly. If that doesn't solve the problem, your next step should be to have your car's diagnostic trouble codes read by using an OBD scanner if you have one. If not, it's best to take your car to a professional mechanic. Most auto parts stores will read your codes for free, but keep in mind that these codes are just a starting point. They can tell you which system is triggering the light, but they won't necessarily pinpoint the exact problem. That's where a skilled mechanic comes in. A professional can use the trouble codes, along with their knowledge and diagnostic tools, to figure out exactly what's causing that check engine light. They can then recommend the appropriate repairs to get your car back in top shape. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe to the Honest Mechanic channel for more straight-talking car advice. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Brian from Honest Mechanic, reminding you to stay safe, stay informed, and keep your car running strong.